Hi everyone, welcome to this card making demonstration. Today I'm going to be looking at using the Anna Griffin fretwork die. I personally love this die and I think there's a lot that you can do with it. And today we're going to make a really easy but effective looking card. The card we finish with will make it look as though you've spent a long time on it, a lot of money and a lot of effort, but in theory you haven't. So we're going to need the die or any other flourish or scrolly type that die that you've got that you could use as a background. So I, as I say, I'm using the Anna Griffin fretwork die. I'm also going to be working in white and ivory. Lots of people have white and ivory, even from beginning. So I thought we'll stick to main colours and then that way it will look very classy and most people could try making this. So what I've done is I've already cut a layer of ivory paper and put it onto my 8x8 card base. I've also then cut out another layer of white card and around the edges I've added pearl drops. So I'm going to mat that onto my card front. I've already put double sided tape on the back. And all being well, I'll be able to take off the back of it so that we can attach it. But as always, double sided tape can be a pain. So let's just take off all our tape. Like so. so I'm using tape for the simple reason that eventually I will be putting this in a box and giving it to somebody so I want it to to last so we're just going to map that onto the previous layer oops make it central like so then I've got my die cuts so I've cut two out and I've cut them in the ivory paper Again, light layer one. And all I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue at one side in the larger areas of the die cut so you can't see it. Like so. Just at one side. I'm going to pop that onto my card. portrait and then the other one I'm going to do exactly the same with I'm just adding glue on half of the die cut just in areas the larger areas that you wouldn't see like so and then I'm going to place that over the other die cut so they just cross over in the middle and they're sticking out to either side so we'll get those a little bit straighter like so press that down so now this bit is going to be covered so I've used labels 20 and I've cut out three layers. I've stamped one layer with a sentiment and because I thought using white and ivory it would make a perfect wedding card so I've found a sentiment from some just right stamps and I've stamped love laughter and happily ever after that's a tongue twister so I'm just going to add the main labels 20 onto the top of the two die cuts. I've gone round the edge and I've used my pearl drops again. I've used the um, white from the Tonic Nouveau drops. Sorry, I was just trying to remember which one I'd used. So for the next layer, 
this one's ivory whereas the previous one was white again this is the labels 20 and it's the next size down I'm just going to pop that into the centre of our previous layer make sure I get it straight or as straight as I possibly can like so and then finally is our sentiment I've stamped that on white card and I've inked through the die with an ivory ink pad but I have stamped the sentiment in a saddle brown ink pad I'm going to pop that in the center like so so you can see how we've built up the layers now I've already made a card bow just with a glittery embellishment in the middle and I'm going to pop that on the top there like so press that down now I did say I wasn't going to use any flowers well I fibbed I've got four daisies four tiny little daisies that I've made again in ivory and I'm just going to pop those one in each corner like so and so they can sit just to the edge of the pearl drops like that and that's it card finished very simple and effective card I've not used lots of colour I've not used lots of different things that you might not have I've literally used four flowers two die cuts and the layers for the centre you could use any shape any colour and it would still look as effective so I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time